What's going on my PT peeps? I'm a walking dead family. Welcome to the PT channel. I'm one eye bright. You don't know if I'm winking or I'm blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the walking dead season nine, episode nine and the opening that's been going around online. We got a breakdown for you. We don't have the video itself, but we have a breakdown of the opening minute and 39 seconds or so. I think it's a minute and 39 seconds is the opening. So obviously spoiler warning for the walking dead season nine, episode nine, the opening minute and 39 seconds. But first guys, if you can and you haven't already hit that subscribe button and join our pt channel walking dead family if you love the walking dead and just being entertained this is the channel for you obviously photo credit and info credit to these fine folks right here just giving credit where credit is due now the episode will start with jesus laying on the cemetery ground there are flashes of lightning and i don't know how much time has passed maybe a couple seconds maybe a couple minutes from episode 908 to 909. we can see the stab wound by the whisper who killed jesus and i guess jesus blood out but jesus will no longer be with us in the future timeline we'll see him in a flashback probably later this season at some point but you can see the stab wound there and then we see a flash of lightning again and that's the mask that i believe daryl took off the whisper I would think Daryl would keep the mask, but I guess he just dropped it after he removed it from the Whisper, and I'm sure everybody's freaked out while the group is. There you can see the dead Whisper laying there, and a lot of the clip, it's pretty dark, it's foggy still, but there are flashes of lightning that give us a flash of what we can actually see. We see the dead Whisper there, and a couple other dead walkers. We see Magna, Aaron, Yumiko, Daryl, Eugene in the back, dog and daryl so it's the same thing from episode 908 to 909 so there's no time jump well maybe a couple minutes or so but it's not a big time jump at all it really picks up at the end of 908 rolls right into 909 after the death of jesus by the whisper and the big introduction of the whispers and i always say her name is yumiko but it's probably yumiko because i believe they say miko like miko short for yumiko but I just have a thing of saying it, Yumiko, but you can see the bow and arrow and remember that because we'll see it again. We see Eugene back by the gate and then we see Michonne. And with Michonne being there, these whispers don't stand a chance. That's for sure. Michonne is going to be cutting, slicing and dicing the walkers and the whispers and Michonne and Daryl together are pretty unstoppable. You throw Carol in the mix, pretty unstoppable, right? But Magna and Yumiko or Yumiko are pretty awesome too. So hopefully we'll see them have bigger, bigger parts, but they just pan around and there's like creepy talking of the whispers and it's pretty spooky and creepy, which is great because I think The Walking Dead hasn't really had that for a long, long time and it hasn't been that scary. Here's a great picture of really that sequence of the people there at the graveyard minus Magna. This was some of the promotional pictures for The Walking Dead. I believe it was the Fox affiliate. And then we see some walkers and some whispers. And the whispers are definitely among the walkers. And it's pretty creepy. It's pretty spooky. And I wonder what the group's thinking here. Like, man, we're in trouble. What's going on here? I'm sure Eugene is scared to death. You see Dog barking his head off at these walkers and whispers. He doesn't attack anybody, but I hope, and I know a lot of people hope, that Dog makes it out of this season and he's around Daryl for a long time. We'll see what they do with Dog beyond this season, but then we see Eugene pretty scared. He's on the other side of the fence, so he's safe. He's away from the walkers and the whispers. He's got a bad knee and he's safe outside of the gate. And I'm kind of interested to see what happens with Eugene in the back half of season nine and beyond. Then you see Michonne, really eyeing up the walkers and the whispers coming at her. She really takes the lead here and she tells everybody to go, I'll provide cover, and they gotta get Jesus' body out of there. So Magna and Yumiko get their belongings and go towards the gate with Eugene. And as they're walking towards the gate, Aaron, I believe, goes over to Jesus' body and he stabs Jesus in the head. You can't really see much from these pictures. It's a little blurry, I apologize for that, but Aaron clearly, you know, kills Jesus so he doesn't come back as a walker. And then he starts to try and pick up Jesus. But Daryl starts to take out some walkers and some whispers. And it's kind of crazy when Daryl's killing walkers and or whispers, it's hard to tell who they are. You hear screams. So I think Daryl and Michonne are just killing whispers. And you can't really tell if it's a whisper or a walker and they don't really care. And I'm pretty sure plenty of times in the trailer, you hear Daryl stab either a walker or a whisper, and then he stabs another walker or a whisper, and you hear someone scream. So I believe he's killing whispers, and it doesn't matter if they're a walker or a whisper, they're threats 
coming at him and it's in a graveyard. It's pretty creepy. It's pretty spooky, but Daryl clearly has his knife and he stabs a couple whispers. And with the team together, the whispers aren't going to stand a chance. That's for sure. I mean, with Daryl and Michonne and the group knowing that the whispers are just people dressed up as walkers and the whispers don't really try to attack Daryl or Michonne. Well, if one tries to attack Michonne and it's pretty hilarious how she just walks at her, but we'll see in a second what happens there. But Michonne's clearing out walkers and you can kind of see Michonne on the left and she slices these walkers up. Well, they're probably whispers actually because when Michonne slices into the people or the walkers, you hear screams. So she's just cutting them up and slicing them like they're walkers and she don't care. But it's kind of hard to see until you see a flash of lightning. And while Michonne's clearing out walkers, she tells Daryl and everybody to go. She'll clear a path and she does. She takes out the walkers and the whispers that are around her. More walkers and whispers are coming towards Michonne while Daryl and Aaron try to pick up Jesus and move him through the gate. Magna and Yumiko, I believe, tried to help them. And they're just trying to get out of there alive because they're in a tricky situation. There you can see Daryl on the left, Aaron on the right, picking up Jesus' dead body. And it's sad that Jesus had to be killed this way for the introduction of the Whispers, but it's very memorable, that's for sure. Then we see a great shot here, a lightning strike flash. You see Michonne in the center. She's just mowing down the walkers and the Whispers in the center of the graveyard. And it's just a great shot there too. I'm glad to see the horror aspect come to the show and hopefully we'll get more and more of that. Then it gets dark again and you see the whispers and the walkers getting closer and closer to Michonne, but Michonne is not a real danger. She steps back trying to just clear the distance and just make some room for her and you see another flash and you can see, you see it goes from dark to light and dark to light and it happens in a split second, but I'm glad they put the lightning strikes in there so we could actually see a little bit more because it gets pretty dark. Then you see Michonne looking at the walkers, probably whispers here. Then you can see pretty much a moron coming at Michonne. I mean, the whisperer doesn't know how badass Michonne is, but then you see a lightning strike and you see this whisper coming at Michonne. And a lot of people thought this was Lydia, but we'll see Lydia in a later part of the episode. This is not Lydia. Michonne doesn't even kill this whisper. This whisper is actually shot by an arrow by Yumiko, and it's pretty badass. I like that shot right there, and I hope that Yumiko, Magna, Connie, Kelly, and Luke are bigger parts of this season into next season, but we'll see who survives. But Yumiko shoots the Whisperer with an arrow. Michonne looks down at the Whisperer, and I believe she's trying to make sense of it to see what's going on here. This is a real person. I can't believe what I'm seeing here because again, we know who the whispers are, but they don't. And this is just happening so fast. They just killed Jesus and more people are attacking them. And Daryl helps Aaron get Jesus through the gate. Daryl says, come on. And Michonne goes through the gate and then Daryl kind of closes it. He doesn't lock it because there is no lock, but Michonne and everybody gets away. Daryl closes the gate and then closes the handle. And it's kind of hard to see for a little bit, but then there's a lightning strike and you see a walker, a walker, a whisper, or somebody there too. But that's clearly a whisper because we'll see in a second that this person sticks their hands through the gate, grabs the handle and starts to open it. And then basically that's the end of the opening. So you can see the whisper pulling open the gate and then going through after the group. So I would assume Lydia might be a member of that group that we didn't see. And then we'll see them on the bridge later on in the episode. We saw this from Entertainment Weekly, the promo photos. This is probably them going towards the bridge, towards back to Hilltop. Obviously, you can see Jesus' dead body, Aaron, Daryl, Michonne, Eugene, Magna, and Yumiko behind Magna. Well, that's the opening. It's kind of hard to decipher some of the things because it's so dark and then there's a lightning strike. So you see a bit of light for a split second, but the opening looks great. It picks up right where 908 left off and we're getting there guys. And if you know this channel and the videos that we posted, you know some of the potential spoilers for episode 909 and potentially 910. So I'm excited to find out what happens and if the potential spoilers are true what's right, what's wrong, what actually happens. But let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. If you like this video, please hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel to get more videos. We post videos all the time, sometimes several times a day. And remember guys, with hard work, dedication, belief and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself, you can do it. It's about love, support, staying positive, making memories and tell them Daryl.
Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.